Secretariat, can you uh, acknowledge the resource persons present now? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning, everyone. We would like to acknowledge our distinguished resource persons. From the House of Representatives, we have the authors of the proposed House bills under consideration. Representative Victor A. Yap, Tarlac 2nd District, the author of House Bill Number 7651, Representative Lorna P. Bautista Bandigan, Davao Occidental Loan District, author of House Bill Number 3881, Representative Joel Mayo Z. Almario, Davao Oriental 2nd District, author of House Bill Number 8380, Representative Isidro T. Ungab, Davao City 3rd District, the author of House Bill Number 8930. From the national government, uh, the Department of Interior and Local Government, uh, we have Assistant Secretary Esther Aldana of the Administration, Finance, and Controllership, and Assistant Secretary Odilon Pasaraba, Special Concerns, Local Government Sector. From the Department of Agriculture, we have Director Ricardo M. Onyate Jr., DA Regional Field Office 11, and Attorney Benjamin Felipe Estabios Jr. of the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. From the Department of Budget and Management, we have Ms. Ruena Marte and Tennessee Mengulio. From the Department of Education, we have Ms. May Eklar, Regional Director of DepEd Region 3 and Attorney Benigno Masungkad, Legal Officer of DepEd Region 11. From the Department of Finance, Ms. Tanya Tevez Real, Corporate Affairs Group. From the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development, we have Attorney Mauro Palmahil, Regional Director of the D. Shoot Davao City, Davao Office, and Attorney Alvin Giolagon, Legal Department of the Dishud Central Office. From the Department of Labor and Employment, we have Ms. Emila de Guzman, Supervising Labor and Employment Officer of the Bureau of Working Conditions. From the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, we have Secretary, I'm sorry, we have Director Bagani Fidel Evasco, Regional Executive Director of DNR 11. Together with Attorney Maria Mercedes V. Dumagan, Assistant Regional Director, Management Services. From the Department of Public Works and Highways, we have Undersecretary in Mindanao and Director Ray Peter Gile, Officer in Charge of the DPWH Region 11. From the Department of Social Welfare and Development, we have Undersecretary Lucinda C. Ilagan, Legislative Liaison Affairs, and Ms. Christine Padilla Antolin, Officer in Charge of the and Assistant Secretary for Luzon Affairs Special Concerns Group. From the Department of Trade and Industry, we have Ms. Marilu Laguting, Division Chief, DTI Region 11. From the Department of Tourism, Ms. Tanya Rabat Tan, Regional Director, DOT Region 11, and Ms. Judy Colajo, together with Attorney Viveka Lopez. From the Department of Transportation, we have Ms. Edna Clemente and Mr. J. Real Condesa, Senior Transportation Development Officers. From the Commission on Higher Education, we have Attorney Frederick Mikael Farolan of the Legal and Legislative Service. From the Bureau of Internal Revenue, we have Mr. Ron Mikael Uy, Law and Legislative Division. From the National Economic and Development Authority, we have Ms. Maria Zenaida Gigo, Chief Economic Development Specialist of the Regional Development Assistance Division. From the Philippine Statistics Authority, we have Mr. Raul Ludovice, Supervising Statistical Specialist. From the Philippine National Police, we have Police Brigadier General Fillmore B. Escobal, Regional Director, Police Regional Office 11. From the Local Government Unit of, the, of Davao, 
Attending as observers, we have Mayor Michelle Rabat of the City of Mati and Mayor Virginia Perandos of the Municipality of Carmen. From the Davao City Chamber of Commerce and Industry, we have Dr. Maria Lourdes G. Monteverde, President, together with Mr. Simeon Marfori II, past president, and Mr. Antonio de la Cruz, executive vice president. From the Philippine Economic Zone Authority, we have attorney Romeo Villarta III of the Legal Affairs Group. That's all, Mr. Chair. Uh, did we miss anyone? Uh, any late uh, arrival or complete? Na? To, to lay down the 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 flow of these proceedings and with the with all due respect to our uh, colleagues coming from the house of representatives we will tackle first senate bill 2157 authored by senator bongo senate bill 2153 authored by senator bato de la rosa senate bill 2116 authored by senator Amy marcos thereafter and if I my my prediction would be correct, it would be probably at around eleven twenty when we can we can commence this committee with would commence with House Bill seven six five one authored by Congressman on. Victoria, House Bill three eight eight one authored by Representative Lorna Bautista Bandigan. And House Bill 8380, authored by Congressman Joel Almario. So, with with uh, all due respect to our colleagues from the House, the, you can leave the meeting uh, at this moment uh, because your bills will be tackled at around 11:20 thereabouts, uh, Your Honours. So that that holds true. Uh, with the other local government officials uh, attending by virtue of the the bills I mentioned and and the congressmen present right now. But I, I we appreciate the committee appreciates your your uh, presence. But we will tackle first the the Senate bills creating the Davao Davao Metropolitan Development Authority. Is Mayor Indaisara uh, around, uh, Secretariat? But represented. Understand there is a there is a storm in 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 the Dabo area right now, and they have they have problems with uh, connectivity. So, uh, having laid down the rules, uh, we 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 can uh, expect that the members of Congress can just log in and out uh, when when their uh, bills would be uh, tackled. So we start with the Senate Bill two one five seven two one five three. And two one one six. May we ask first the, the the lady senator from Ilocos Norte, uh, thereafter Senator Bato de la Rosa, uh, to give their opening statements as authors. Senator Amy Marcos, you're recognized. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman Tolentino. And um, I think uh, my bill, the first one filed in the Senate, doesn't differ greatly from the Congress bills, in as much as after all, these bills are all part of the initiative of the Metropolitan Davao Development Coordinating Committee, um, which was the special committee under the RDC Davao, chaired by uh, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio. Um, I think that uh, we are all very uh, familiar with the uh, overwhelming growth and investment in Davao these days, and also the uh, sturdy and robust performance of its economy, um, registering very low inflation numbers in comparison to both Cebu and Metro Manila. Furthermore, uh, I would like uh, to state for the record that in fact, the uh, confluence of all these cities um, is reminiscent of my grandfather's uh, old uh, governor generalship in the ancient Davao and Cotabato region. So, may konting sentimental journey para sa akin to because we used to visit 
constantly in the areas of Panabo, Tagum, Shamal, Davao del Norte, Digos in Davao Sur, the highly urbanized city of Davao, of course, and the municipalities of Carmen, Davao del Norte, and Santa Cruz in Davao del Sur. And of course, um, we are preaching to the choir here, given the vast experience of our chairman, who was MMDA head and knows full well the uh, synergies involved when efforts among local government units are integrated and uh, consolidated. Thank you very much. Uh, Senator Marcos, I, 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 I was expecting that your nostalgia would uh, in, involve this representation during the ancient years, uh, but that was uh, touched upon as a very vintage uh, era. But I, I do recognize that your, your mother was the first Metro Manila governor or chairman of, uh, of this area, and I think I serve as the ninth or eighth uh, MMDA chairman, I forgot. so. Uh, I think we 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 all we all hold together the same values and core on how how an organization such as this would uh, evolve. And I thank you for uh, your opening statement. Thank you, Senator Marcos. May we now recognize Senator De La Rosa for his opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chair. Other members of the committee morning, on sir. local government. Marinig mo ako, Mr. Chair? Yes, sir. Please proceed, sir. Please proceed. Go ahead, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Again, good morning, Mr. Chair. Other members of the Committee on Local Government, uh, especially uh, Senator Amy Marcos, uh, resource persons and guests. In 2020, the Philippine Statistics Authority ranked the entire Davao region as fifth highest per capita gross regional domestic product and gross regional domestic expenditure. Out of uh, the 17 regions across the country, improving its rank from sixth in 2019. This, Mr. Chair, despite the adverse economic effects brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic last year, hindi kaila sa nakakarami na kwa itubong Dabao, pinanganak sa barangay Bato, Santa Cruz, Dabao del Sur. Kaya uh, isang karangalan para sa akin na maging author ang uh, Senate Bill Number no. 2153 o an act creating the Metropolitan Davao Development Authority, defining its powers and functions and providing funds therefore. Time and again, Mr. Chair, the effectivity Metro Manila Metropolitan Manila Development Authority or MMDA as to coordination between LGOs within Metro Manila has been proven most especially during this time of pandemic. In fact, no less than our, our hardworking chairman can attest to this as he has once he did the MMDA. Mr. Chair, with the rapid economic growth of Metropolitan Davao, Senate Bill 2153, which I authored, as well as the other related bills, will boost our country's econo economy more so strengthen the coordination among component cities and municipalities therein in the planning, implementation, and monitoring of priority projects thereof. In closing, Mr. Chair, I am hopeful that our colleagues will support this measure. Truly, Mr. Chair, if you are in Davao, you can uh, really say Davao, life is here. Thank you and good morning. Thank you, Senator De La Rosa, you. Uh, for your opening statement. I, I think we will have to reconcile your version with that of Senator Marcos. But I'd like to take advantage of the presence of Congressman Isidro Ungab of Davao City. I think I saw his face a while ago. Sir, are you still uh, here? Congressman Ungab? Congressman Ungab? Secretariat, can you call Congressman Ungab? Nandiyan pa ho kayo? Because uh, you're from Davao City. And, yep, he's uh, there. Okay. Can you hear us? Uh, Congressman Ungab? Uh, he's there. Congressman? Congressman Isidro Ungab? Ojo lang, ojo. 
Can you mute? Unmute, unmute. Sir? <laughs> Sir? Payong buntag? Are you still there? Asamanta? Yeah, 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 na, yeah, yeah, na. Yeah. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Congressman, uh, Mr. You're, Senator familiar, Chairman. you're familiar with this uh, measure. We, we have uh, three measures here. Uh, we're trying to get in touch with the team of uh, Mayor Inday Sara. But uh, since you're from Davao City, you might as well uh, address this measure. This, the, the bills uh, under consideration is calling for the creation of a da Metropolitan Davao Development Authority. It will encompass areas not just uh, near Davao City but beyond. Uh, I'm referring to Vigos, I'm referring to Panabo, Samal, and uh, other areas such as uh, Carmen and, and, and probably uh, Tagum will be there. So, Congressman, any comment on this bill? Uh, how, how will this... Uh, affect the massive growth and development of, of your area, of your region? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, I have prepared here a statement. But earlier you mentioned uh, our beloved Mayor Sara Duterte. Yes, uh, she is uh, fully supporting this, uh, this bill. And in fact, uh, as member of the Regional Development Council, they fired, uh, filed a resolution uh, supporting this bill. So may I uh, read this statement, uh, Mr. Chairman? Go ahead, Can I proceed? Go ahead. The Honorable Chairpersons of this Joint Committee hearing, headed by Senator Francis Tolentino, members of the Senate Committee on Local Government, the Committee on Finance, and the Committee on Government Corporation and Public Enterprise, distinguished participants of this joint public hearing, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I would like to begin by expressing my heartfelt appreciation for this invitation to speak as a resource person about House Bill number 8930 entitled an act creating the Metropolitan Davao Development Authority, defining its powers and functions and providing funds therefore, of which I am the principal author at the House of Representatives. The invitation clearly shows the Senate committee's resolve to immediately act on a very important legislation. Of course, I also want to thank uh, Senators Bato de la Rosa, Senators Aimee Marcos, and Senator Bongo, who are, are our ardent uh, proponent of this initiative and has actually filed the same bill uh, before this honorable chamber. The MDDA was approved on third and final reading at the lower house last March 25. Apart from being a representative of Davao City's third legislative district, I am pushing for the creation of MDDA in order to deal with the, last, with the fast growth and urbanization of the Davao region. For we have all witnessed our region's increasing social and economic demands that require a synchronized and unified development. Under this MDDA, that MDDA shall have jurisdiction over Davao City, the cities of Panabo, Tagum, and the island garden city of Samal or Igacos in Davao del Norte, Digos in Davao del Sur, Mati in Davao Oriental, and the municipalities of Santa Cruz in Davao del Sur, Carmen in Davao del Norte, Mako in Davao de Oro, and Malita in Davao Occidental. This covers a total of six cities and four municipalities in the Davao region. The bill is guided by the Philippine Development Plan, particularly the PDP 2017 to 2022, which incorporates a national spatial strategy that sets the direction of the physical development of the country. The National Spatial Strategy, or NSS, seeks to decongest the national capital region and direct growth to the key centers throughout the country where the benefit of agglomeration can have greater potentials of being realized sooner. It is being underscored that Metropolitan Davao is one of the metropolitan centers mentioned in the Philippine Development Plan or PDP to be considered as a major international gateway and will serve as Mindanao's premier commercial hub 
and Center for Education and Health Services. It is explicit in the PDP that the institutionalization of the Metropolitan Davao Development Authority will strengthen coordination among the component cities and municipalities in the planning, implementation, and monitoring of priority programs and projects. With the enactment of this bill, we expect a metamorphosis in the Davao region's socio-economic landscape, growth, and development. Moreover, this initiative to create MDDA is clearly mandated by Section 13, Article 10 of the 1987 Constitution, which states that local government units may group themselves, consolidate or coordinate their efforts, services, and resources for purposes commonly beneficial to them in accordance with law. The Regional Development Council of Region 11 also gave its full support and endorsed this bill, creating the MDDA by issuing two separate resolutions, RDC Advisory Committee Resolution Number 10, Series of 2019, and RDC 11 Resolution Number 92, Series of 2020. Also, almost all the congressmen of the Bow Region from both district and party list representatives signed as co-authors of this bill in the lower house. The services of MDDA will cover development planning, transport management, solid waste disposal management, flood control and sewerage management, urban renewal, zoning, land use planning and shelter services, health and sanitation, urban protection and pollution control, and public safety. Also provided under this measure is the creation of the MDDA's Governing Board and Policy-Making Body, or a Metropolitan Davao Development Council, to be composed of the RDC Region 11 Chairperson and the City Mayors and Municipal Mayors of the 10 cities and municipalities comprising the MDDA. The Council will elect a Chairperson who will serve for a term of three years. The regional directors of the following agencies will also sit in the board or council as ex officio members, namely NEDA, Housing and Urban Development, DPWH, DILG, DOH, DICT, DOE, DOT, DOTR, LTO, and the PNP. The chairperson of the Metropolitan Davao Development Council shall be assisted by a general manager and an assistant general manager together with the staff complement to support him in the day-to-day -day operations of the MDDA. To our distinguished chairman and members of this joint Senate committee hearing, may I respectfully and earnestly appeal for your support in the passage of this Metro Davao Development Authority Bill, which will boost Davao region's socio-economic growth and sustainable development this being the MDDA's core purpose and objective. Your approval and support will surely go a long way in helping us achieve a brighter future in the Davao region. Dagang salamat o maayong buntag sa inyong tanan. Dagang salamat, uh, Congressman uh, Ungab. Perhaps uh, the other uh, uh, members of this committee would be asking questions. I see Senator De La Rosa raising his hand. Uh, will this be directed to, of course, it will be directed to Congressman Ungab. May mga clarifications po dito. Mamaya po ako, uh, Congressman, wag muna kayong mali. Senator De La Rosa is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Nagan uh, salamat, uh, Congressman Ungab. Uh, I just would like to, kung okay lang sa'yo, uh, one question lang, uh, clarification lang. Uh, during your deliberations, itong uh, measure na ito, because I just uh, adopted your uh, approved version from the lower house at uh, I sponsored it uh, dito sa Senado. Pero uh, tanong, magtanong lang sana ako, during your deliberations doon sa lower house, uh, wala bang uh, nagtanong bakit uh, up, eh, may mga munisipyo sa Dabao Sur along, along the coastal area of Dabao Gulf na na-lift out in the creation of this uh, uh, MDDA. Uh, to cite an example, kasi going north, nakikita ko, kinubir lahat. Nandoon na pan, pan, Panabo, after Davao City, Panabo, Tagum, uh, 
kuha lahat pati yung uh, sa uh, Dabo de Oro yung uh, uh, Mabini hanggang doon sa Oriental pero going down sa south from Digos uh, Santa Cruz Digos na skip yung Hagunoy, Padada, Santa Maria dumiritso kayo ng uh, uh, Malita uh, can you explain to us uh, the rationale behind uh, bakit uh, hindi nisama yung ibang munisipyo that's thank a very you, pertinent you, uh, question Mr. Uh, yes. Senator that's yes. a very pertinent question kasi we're trying to flash a map on the screen hindi lang makita yung map I, I, I wonder if the good congressman has a copy of that map para makita natin or a PSA or a DINEDA kung meron kayong mapa para ma-flash namin sa screen kasi gusto ko rin tinatanong ko po yan kay Senator De La Rosa paano na carve out po yung sabi niya along the coast pero apparently meron na na miss doon sa sa coast ng munisipyo go ahead uh, Senator uh, Congressman Unga Thank you uh, Mr. Chairman um uh, may I proceed your honor go ahead uh, sir the, the areas covered in the Metropolitan Development uh, Davao Development Authority was actually based on a study conducted by the NEDA and uh, was approved by RDC Region 11. Originally, there were only about six or seven. And during the deliberations in the lower house, there were two or three committee hearings that were conducted. Most of the uh, congressmen from uh, Davao Region um, amended and uh, requested that some areas shall be included. Actually, if I remember it right, what was uh, added were Mati, uh, Mako, uh, Malita, and uh, uh, supposedly it was only up to Davao del Sur, but uh, the uh, Congress woman and uh, both uh, from uh, party list and uh, district representative from Davao Occidental suggested that uh, we include Malita. Uh, I am open to possible opening of that uh, those areas as suggested by the uh, good uh, senator who also happened to be from from Davao. And uh, of course, uh, we have to get also the feedback of the NEDA with regard to that um, because they were the one who who conducted the, the study. But so far, uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, we are not uh, limiting the the, the areas uh, covered. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Congressman Ongab. Uh, salamat for that uh, clarification. Mr. Chairman, uh, kung nandito yung taga NEDA Region 11, pwede natin siyang tanungin? Habang uh, napag-usapan natin ito? May, may we NEDA ask, uh, is Sinaida Go, uh, Chief of the NEDA Division, Development Specialist, uh, Regional Assistance Division. Are you around? Uh, Miss Miss uh, Senaida uh, go. Mr. Chair, good morning. I'm from the I'm from the central office in Pasig. Central office. Yes. Yeah. But you can you can answer this. Uh, no. Neda was I, involved in the in the crafting of the geographical delineation. So can you answer Senator De La Rosa's query? And he will propose uh, other questions. Go ahead, Senator. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> Kaya mo ba masagot yung tanong ko? Or I, apologize, I apologize, Mr. Senator, because we do not have a copy of the study conducted by our regional office in 11. So I will coordinate with Region 11 so I can furnish the committee with that study. So you are not aware of the study conducted by Region thank 11. Th thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Thank Chair, baka mayroong taga NIDA, NIDA 11 dito. Yeah. Maybe Maraming there's somebody from Region 11. Thank you, sir. NIDA Region 11? I think there is one from Region 11, Neda. Can can you ano? Can you wave your hand? Uh, Neda Region 11. I don't have the name here, but uh, I think they're around. Um, uh, ma'am, uh, Miss Miss Naidago, I think through yung sa link po, ang nakapasok lang is Central Office. Can you advise your Region 11 office to? Utilize the same link, likewise. Okay, uh, sir. Okay, yeah, okay sir. Masagot sila. I will try to coordinate with them right now. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, Senator, while, while waiting for uh, the the virtual presence of NEDA Region 11, 
Uh, with your permission, I, I would like to ask a question directed to Congressman Ungab, uh, if the uh, His Honor is willing to answer some questions. Congressman Ungab. Yes, uh, yes, you, Mr. Chairman. Your answer uh, would show that you are amenable to some changes insofar as the inclusion of some LGUs apparently missed out as indicated by Senator De La Rosa. Is that correct, sir? Pwede pa magdagdag? Yes. Uh, uh, on, on my part as a principal author in the lowers, I am uh, amenable, Mr. Chairman. Uh, there was one instance where one uh, congresswoman proposed almost all of the uh, cities and municipalities in the Davao region. So I had to I have to contradict that. I have to object on that because uh, sabi ko, ito na metropolitan development area. So uh, coordination, planning and everything. We, we are not proposing an autonomous region. So uh, my, my version prevailed. But we admitted those uh, requests na isama nila yung uh, suggested cities and municipalities and most of the congressmen uh, who are present in that uh, committee hearing, uh, Mr. Chairman. Congressman uh, Senator De La Rosa, flash on the screen now is the map of the area. And apparently the red, the red line, the red line, the red shaded area is the geographical, if, if I'm not mistaken, uh, configuration of the Davao Metropolitan Development Area. Tama po ba yun? From Digos to Tagum, uh, Carmen, Panabo, Samal is included, and Rizal. Uh, tama po ba yun? Tama po ba yun, uh, Congressman Ungab? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Ten cities and municipalities. So, ang Mostly sinasabi... coastal. Yes. And Samal is on the front. Yes. Yes. So, siguro po ang sinasabi ni Senator De La Rosa, itong areas na katapat. Uh, yung kabila nung, kabila nung, yung likod, nung, sa, likod ng Island Garden City of Samal. Tama po ba yun? Itong blue line. Medyo maliit lang itong linya eh. Part na ng uh, Compostela, Dabao de Oro, and uh, Dabao Oriental. Tama po ba yun, Senator De La Rosa? Sa kabila ng Dabao Gulf, yun ba yung gusto nyo isama? Yeah, uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, if you are uh, looking at the map, itong uh, coastal areas ng uh, Dabao Gulf, ito yung ideal na development area na uh, pinoproject ng uh, ating uh, DMM uh, at MDDA. But uh, tingnan mo kung uh, lumabas pa doon sa Mate, which is outside of uh, Dabao Gulf already, whereas uh, uh, where yung iba naman na nas nasa loob ng Dabao Gulf na to be contiguous ay uh, nalip out. So I just would like to spread into the records of this committee that it is my uh, uh, earnest desire for uh, for uh, uh, equity and uh, fairness, gusto ko sana masama yung lahat ng munisipyo along the coastal area of Dabao Gulf para maganda tingnan yung, uh, yung development ng buong Gulf. <coughs> Yun lang, Mr. Senator Chairman, sa akin. De La, Senator De La Rosa, how many more towns are, are, are uh, included in your proposal? Magiging V-shape na po siya. Parang v inverted V-shape. Tama po ba yun? Can we flash again the map? Uh, Inalis na naman yung mapa. Can we flash the map on the screen? Uh, siguro wag niyo muna alisin yung map. While we are discussing the geography and terrain here. Uh, sandali lang. Ito po. So, this is an, an inverted V-shaped uh, coastal area. Can you zoom it? Medyo ma mababa. So, we're now referring to... Uh, the, the blue shaded area, ito po yung red, ito yung sa version ni Congressman Ungab. Yung sinasabi po ni, Cong ni Senator De La Rosa is the, the, the line going down when you reach uh, the city of Tagum, pababa. Tama po ba yun? So, magiging inverted V shape yung uh, area. Tama po, Senator De La Rosa? Tama ka, tama ka, Mr. Chairman. Tama ka. It will the, not... The only... will not... Sir... Ah, if I may, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, sir. Uh, looking, at, looking at the map, talaga ang nandalift out lang dito, itong uh, uh, going down ha, sa south, the Bosor, 
uh, itong uh, uh, municipality of Hagunoy na, na mayroon din siyang coastal area, Dada and uh, Santa Maria of uh, Dabao Occidental. Well, going north, covered lahat sila. From uh, Dabao Norte up to uh, Dabao de Oro, then up to Dabao Oriental. So, ito lang sa probinsya ko lang ang uh, medyo naiwan yung tatlong uh, munisipyo. Baka pwedeng uh, uh, with the indulgence of uh, Congressman Ongab, kung pwede sana isama na lang natin yon para tuloy-tuloy ah, so, yung development. Yes, sir, you're referring to three towns left out coming from Davao del Sur. Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Ayun. So, bali-apat, bali apat, bali apat. Bali apat, correction, correction Mr. Chairman, apat. Uh, we have uh, Hagunoy, uh, Padada, Malalag, and Santa Maria. Na ma, uh, considerable rin yung kanilang uh, uh, coastal area. Para contiguous hanggang malita. Yes sir, I, yes, sir. I am now familiar with the map. Opo. So, any reaction Congressman Ungab if we... Ano po, May, uh, before Mr. we ask Neda to react, uh, si Congressman Ungab muna. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, the original proposal, uh, the original bill that I filed actually would start from Panabo, the uh, Tagum, Tagum, Panabo, then Carmen, then Davao City, then Digos, then Santa Cruz. So, anim lang po yung, yung original. It was uh, during the committee hearings that we received... Uh, uh, several requests from uh, the congressman and uh, if I remember it right, the the congressman of the Oriental, uh, Mayo Almario, requested that Mati be included. And in the case of Davao de Oro, the uh, municipality of Manco uh, filed a, a resolution uh, requesting the committee to, to include. So it was also endorsed by the the Davao de Oro uh, Provincial Board as well as the Regional Development Council. So kaya nasama yung 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 dalawa. Then uh, uh, Congresswoman Bautista of uh, of uh, Davao Occidental requested uh, na isama na rin yung uh, yung malita sa Davao Occidental. So again, uh, Mr. Chairman, I have no objection. Uh, mas maganda ngayon kung makonect lahat sila ng uh, municip municipalities and cities along the coastal area, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, siguro, Senator Del Rosa, you're satisfied with the answer? There is uh, room for uh, expansion here, uh, going down yeah, uh, to include the yeah. municipalities you mentioned. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, uh, maraming maraming salamat sa kay Congressman Ongab kung uh, i-allow niya yan. Uh, the uh, people from Dabao Sur will be very, very, very much uh, uh, thankful uh, with your uh, approval na isama natin ito. Thank you. Yung barangay bato, hindi na kasama. Yung, your, your birth well, uh, birth. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, yung bato is a part of Santa Cruz. So, uh, siguro nakita ni Congressman Ungab na, na yung munisipyo ko dapat isama, kaya naisama niya. Pero after uh, Digos, hindi na naisama yung iba. Kawawa naman, uh, that's still uh, part of my province. Uh, kung uh, sana ma-spread yung sunshine diyan sa mga munisipyo na yan dahil talagang uh, uh, medyo backward pa rin yung mga munisipyo na yan kung tutuusin kung with the creation of this uh, uh, development authority eh, yung sunshine ay ma-spread sa kanila uh, magpapasalamat kami Mr. Chairman Thank you Senator Bato So the number one barangay now is Barangay Bato uh, of your municipality. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. Thank you, uh, Congressman Ungap. May we now recognize uh, NEDA, Region 11, if you're around? NEDA, wala pa rin? Anong pangalan? Uh, Regional Director Lourdes. Lourdes Lim of NEDA, Region 11. Are you around? Are you vir virtually present? Uh, she's trying to connect. Uh, bago po kayo umalis, Congressman Ungap, uh, can, can the chair uh, ask some questions? Uh, yes, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh -huh. So, with the proposal of Senator De La Rosa, it will now be 14 LGUs. Am I correct? 
Uh, yes, uh, 10 cities and municipalities plus four na uh, dagdag ni Senator De La Rosa. 14 po lahat. 14 municipalities. Uh, sir, I now go to the... Uh, uh, you, you're very familiar with this because you used to be the House Chair of the Committee on Appropriations. As to the funding source, uh, Congressman, uh, initially, how do you uh, operationalize all of this and w what will be the main source of where will we source the funds uh, during the initial operations of the MDDA, uh, Congressman Ungab? In my uh, proposal in House Bill 8930, Mr. Chairman, we just uh, placed there as approved by the Committee on Appropriations in the Lower House for, that it will be included in the uh, General Appropriations Act. But if uh, the Senate would so desire to include in its bill an initial or seed fund, initial amount to make to operationalize the MDDA, uh, this representation will not object and we will gladly will gladly support your uh, your uh, uh, I would say an initial fund coming from the Senate uh, or uh, a proposal with regard to that, uh, Mr. Chairman. And I, I think I, I read something about an initial funding from one of the versions. But uh, my, my my main question is this: in in order to make this all sustainable, it appears that there will be contributions coming from the LGU is concerned, and uh, that would be uh, taken from their own uh, funding sources, most notably probably the internal revenue allotment. Is this correct, Congressman? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Of course, uh, it will be agreed uh, by the LGUs and the uh, to be approved by that uh, by the council. Uh, that will be later on uh, comprised after the. Uh, approval of this bill, uh, Mr. Chairman. Alam niyo po, Congressman, and to all the resource persons listening, one of the uh, contentious provisions of the Charter of the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority, which which I headed for half a decade, is the provision wherein the MMDA receives an internal revenue allotment from the national government I think similar to a province. So with that, it has bec it, it was sustainable and uh, year after year, the MMDA was treated as a local government unit in itself, uh, distinct from the LGUs comprising the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority. My question, Congressman, is has this crossed your mind that uh, perhaps the MDDA can be treated as a as an LGU separate and distinct from the 14 LGUs uh, comprising it, uh, Congressman, so that it will receive its own share of internal revenue allotment? That would be a, a very good, uh, I would say, development or amendment if ever uh, the good chairperson of the Committee on Local Government of the Senate would, would propose such, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Um, that's why I was uh, joking, especially during uh, committee hearings in the Committee on Appropriations. Ang laki-laki na talaga ng budget ng NCR, though, aside from the uh, being the seat of government, uh, they also have the head offices in NCR at saka may Metro Manila Development Authority. So if this could happen, uh, there in the south. Actually, the MDDA bill is the first bill after the Metro Manila Development Authority. I think it was in the 90s that uh, Metro Manila Development Authority was passed. And uh, I believe the NIDA is is correct in uh, coming up with its uh, proposal to decongest Metro Manila and uh, uh, spark the growth and development in the in the regions, particularly, uh, example, Metro Davao and hopefully in the future, Metro Cebu. So it would be a good, uh, I would say, a very good and acceptable proposal, Mr. Chairman. Proposing it, Congressman. I'm just mentioning it uh, because of my experience before in my previous lifetime. And likewise, I can state, when I was MMDA chairman, 
the MMDA was treated as a separate regional development council. So the chairman of the MMDA is the RDC chairman for Metro Manila. So that's why uh, the the coordination between the various LGUs, national government agencies, and even state universities and colleges was, Thank you, Mr. Was, Chair. was almost seamless. So are are you now are you not thinking along those lines, uh, Congressman, that we carve out a mini RDC for development purposes insofar as the Metro Davao Development Authority is concerned. Uh, Neda is listening and I will ask Neda later to react. Uh, actually, in this uh, MDDA bill, uh, Mr. Chairman, we, the chairperson of the uh, RDC 11 is uh, included in the uh, check. Uh, yes, the RDC 11 chairperson and the governors, the mayors, and the city mayors and uh, municipal mayors in the, ten, in the proposed LGS will be included in the uh, Metropolitan Development Council. So it would actually be a small NEDA, but uh, a small uh, RDC. But of course, the, the bigger RDC is the real RDC, who will still be the, which will still retain its uh, role as the uh, highest uh, planning coordinative body in, in the region because the uh, MDDA will only cover the areas that's uh, uh, included in the Metropolitan Development Authority, Mr. Chairman. So it will be an authority within a region and will still recognize the structure of the region. I'm speaking of the, not just the NEDA, uh, RDC, we're speaking now of the PNP, uh, Region 11, police structure. We're now talking of the OTR, Region 11. We're now talking of the Bureau of Internal Revenue, Region 11, and so on and so forth. The, the reason why I'm, I'm uh, reciting this is because my experience in, in Metro Manila is that it was considered as the uh, national administrative region, so that's why we have an NCRPO for the police. We have a DOTR and, uh, NCR, LTO NCR, BIR NCR, TPWH NCR, and so on and so forth. So what happened is that all of this are coordinating as one uh, integral part of a machine. So what will happen with the Davao Metropolitan, Metropolitan Davao Development Authority is that it will be a machine as you envision, within a machine, a bigger machine, part of the region. Tama po ba yun? Tama yes, po ba uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Chairman, because uh, in the case of, of Metro, Manila, processes, Metro Manila Development uh, Authority, all the, all the uh, cities and municipalities are almost included in, uh, of NCR are almost included in the case of the uh, Metro Manila Development Authority. While in the case of the Metro Davao Development Authority, not all the cities and municipalities are uh, included in the... Uh, not all the cities and municipalities of the region are included in the MDDA. So the uh, Regional Development Council will still retain, uh, be retained as uh, the highest policy or planning and policy making body. They, also act as the counterpart of the NEDA board in the region. While the MDDA will only cover this uh, 10, and uh, now as proposed by Senator Bato de la Rosa, it will now be 14. So yung 14 areas lang po ang i-cover ng MDDA. So, so, so Congressman, one, one last question before, ready na ba NEDA? One last question before we recognize NEDA. Would, would you not foresee some conflicts along the way uh, in so far as uh, uh, administrative jurisdiction, turf, uh, between line agencies and uh, the LGUs uh, comprising the uh, Metro Davao Development Authority. Would there not be frictions along the way uh, that 
should now be addressed at this uh, early stage, uh, Congressman? So far, uh, Your Honor, uh, I would see no uh, conflict uh, considering that uh, this uh, will only cover the areas covered, uh, the, the, the LGUs covered, and the uh, RDC chair will also be there, and NEDA will also be there in the, in the board. Uh, in fact, during the deliberations in the plenary in the lower house, one congressman who happened to be from Metro Manila was about to make an amendment uh, recommending that the, that the chair of the uh, uh, Metro Davao Authority will be elected. So, but I I just talked to him and uh, requested that uh, hindi na lang ipasok ang kaniyang kaniyang amendment. So we just uh, proceed that uh, yung mag-elect yung members ng uh, MD Metro Davao Council. So sila ang mag-elect ng uh, chairman, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, thank you, Congressman. I was supposed to ask that question because there have been there have been calls for the election of the MMDA chairman likewise uh, to be elected uh, amongst the uh, registered voters coming from the 16 cities and one municipality of Metro Manila, which I agree uh, that the, the MMDA chairman should be an elected official of Metro Manila, elected by all the registered voters. So I was supposed to ask that question. Uh, inunahan mo lang ako na kung pwedeng i-elect yung... yung uh, yung chairman ng uh, Met Metro Davao Development Authority, not just by the council members, but by the yeah. registered voters of the 14 towns. But be before we proceed with that political uh, structural aspect, NEDA Rao is around. We, we recognize NEDA. Uh, uh, Re NEDA Region 11, you're recognized. Anong pangalan? Miss Lim, Lourdes Lim. NEDA Region 11. Nakakonect na ba siya? NEDA, can you wave your hand? Mukhang mahirap ang NEDA maano. Ma because NEDA is supposed to explain all of this, uh, Congressman. NEDA, we're still, give, we're still giving you enough time to react. Kung wala, uh, we proceed with the other... We recognize, uh, likewise, the presence of the PESA here, Attorney Romeo Villarta, but uh, we'd like to acknowledge yes, and uh, hear the voice of uh, the two LGUs present. Uh, you're not just here as observers, but would like to make you active participants. I recognize Mayor Michelle Rabat of the city of Mati, Davao Oriental. Mayor, uh, we'll give you a chance. Payag ba kayo rito or do you have any concern? Uh, Mayor Abad, uh, you're recognized. Wala din, hindi makontak. We, we, we saw you before. Pwede E. Pwede rin E. Ikong. Pero baka ma Ekong. Ekong. <laughs> Mayor Abad of uh, Mayor Michel Abad. Ikong. Mati. Ikong. Pero iba, bakit? Eh, kung... <laughs> Mayor Abad? So, bakit matigas mo ng dela? Somebody is uh, using your uh, office space. Mayor. Sino po yung nagsasalita? Mayor Michelle Rabat of the Mati, Davao Oriental. We're recognizing you. Wala pa rin? What about Mayor Virginia Perandos of uh, Carmen Davao del Norte? It seems that uh, we're having a hard time connecting with the LGUs. Uh, baka baka minumute mo, Congressman Unga ba? Hindi sila makasalita. May, may, medyo hisi ang signal ng internet dito kay may bagyong Opo. dumaan. Opo. Uh -oh. What about NEDA? Are you now ready? NEDA Region 11? Uh, I think nakalink na kayo, NEDA. Uh, can you unmute NEDA Region 11? Director... Uh, Lourdes Lim, we're now recognize you. Please unmute. Neda. Wala pa rin. Neda. Ang hirap si... 
Nahirapan tayo mag-connect. Uh, uh, we're giving you a last chance sa uh, NEDA. Otherwise, the committee will be asking a written explanation why, why you are uh, logging in and out. Uh, this should be a serious matter uh, to be taken up. Uh, Director Lim. I will be calling Secretary Chua if you do not respond. Wala pa rin? I think Ardilim so is, Mr. Chair, Ardilim is waving uh, his her hand. Ardilim is there. Ba't tayo magsalita? Kanina pa, sayang oras natin dito. <laughs> uh, Director Lim, can you, can you unmute and say something if you're still around? She is waving his her, her hand. Why, why don't you, uh, Director Lim, you're, you're critical here. Uh, we're, we're, asking, we're asking a lot of questions and uh, all, all of these were directed to NEDA Region 11, specifically questions coming from Senator De La Rosa. Director Lim, uh, for the last time, uh, can you respond? Kayo na lang siguro po, NEDA Central Office, uh, kayo na lang ang magsabi sa kanya just uh, to write, uh, I, submit a written explanation. I, she's, she's there, she's there. Can you say something? You can remove your face mask. Wala ka naman atang kasama dyan. I believe I cannot hear you. Director Lim, can you... Do you know how to utilize a laptop? Siguro we proceed with the other resource persons. Uh, DPWH, we skip NEDA. Uh, Apparently, NEDA does not know how to utilize a laptop. DPWH, uh, Regional Director, uh, USEC people, are you around? Yeah, I saw USEC Butch. DPWH? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Hi, Butch. You, you, can you... Can you uh, can you react on how this setup will advance infrastructure development and growth of the proposed Metro Davao Development Authority? You have the floor, sir. DPWH, DPWH, we can see you blinking. We want you to open your mouth. Ako lang, sir. Uh, DPWS Regional Director, sir, Ray Peter Hillier. Can you hear me, sir? Go ahead, go ahead. You're loud and clear. Uh, we submitted a position paper with regards to the creation of Metropolitan uh, Davao Development Authority, defining its powers and functions and providing funds, therefore. Uh, we submitted uh, this uh, position paper to Attorney Rachel Yuan, sir. But uh, yes, but answer can, my can question. Answer? answer my question. Not the position paper. Answer my question. My question is this: How will this advance the growth and development no. of the Metro Davao development area, consisting of fourteen LGUs? Hmm. Please unmute. Ah uh, yes, uh, Your Honor, this uh, Yusek people of DPWH. Nandiyan na si Yusek people. Tatagalogin ko na nga, Yusek. Paano po itong pag naitatag itong Metro Davao Development Authority makakatulong sa pag-unlad ng labing apat na LGUs? Yun lang po ang tanong ko. Kung ano-ano na sinabi nung isang kasama mo kanina. Opo, uh, considering po yung uh, experience natin dito sa Metro Manila, this will greatly enhance yung home planning, including po yung implementation at uh, operations and maintenance of our infrastructure facilities within the area. Uh, considering ho, dito sa experience natin sa Metro Manila, dito sa MMDA and in, uh, and in collaboration with DPWH, halos lahat po rito, including the uh, traffic management, and the flood control and sewerage system, the, the including yung uh, the garbage management, including traffic management during the implementation of uh, projects. So this will greatly enhance 
the economic growth in the area, considering that uh, there will be a close coordination with the PWH. Uh, among uh, so you said, you, yung mga hindi po nakasama dito sa labing apat, hindi naman po kaya maiwanan? Mapag-iwanan uh, ng labing apat? Pero kailangan dito ma-integrate po in a larger or yun pong mga ima dahil parang Metro Manila ito, in the future there will be massive growth in the, in the, in the Davao area. So, pati yung mga outskirts at, at tingin natin ngayon ay medyo malalayong lugar, definitely there will be also a corresponding growth in the area. Kaya medyo la, la, uh, kailangan din ho na tignan natin na may sama rin yung mga other areas. So what you're implying is that aside from the original 14 or the 10 plus 4, uh, the, there should be a room for expansion to cover yes, other yeah. LGUs? Uh, while we are uh, crafting this, Your Honor, I think it's better to look also in that area para makita na ho natin dito because uh, the development should not be confined only to the uh, LGUs as uh, identified but yung mga other neighboring areas. Uh, kailangan din po na ma titingnan natin that so that they will be fully integrated doon sa development of the area. Thank you, Yusek Pipo. I, I yield the floor to Senator Marcos. Perhaps uh, she has some questions addressed to the others. Uh, notably, uh, I don't know why PESA is here. Hindi ko alam ba't nakasama yung PESA. Is there a plan to have a, an export processing zone? within the area. So, Senator Marcos, uh, you have the oh, floor. Yes. yes um, 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 I uh, just wanted to inquire from uh, USEC people. Um, in addition to the Samal Bridge and other uh, large infrastructure projects that we have heard of in the news, ano pa yung plano ng public works sa area na sa sakupa ng Metro Davao? Magaganda ho yung mga proyekto natin dyan, ma'am. Aside from yung Samal uh, Island uh, Bridge connecting mainland to the Samal Island, uh, meron din po tayo yung gagawin natin and it's uh, fi uh, financed by JICA. Itong, ba itong uh, bypass ho natin that will connect uh, all the way from... Uh, uh, the north, Dabao del Norte, papunta ko sa Dabao del Sur. At ginagawa ko natin ngayon, at ang magandang proyekto para matricongest ang Central Business District of Dabao, itong Dabao Coastal Bypass Road, which is medyo malaki na rin po, ma'am, ang uh, nagawa natin. And hopefully... Uh, How many years? Na... Multi-year yan, di ba, Butch? Yes, uh, Multi-year yan. Ilang taon yung plano dyan? Uh, yung hong mga Davao uh, Bypass Coastal Road, tatlong taon po yung plano namin pero natapos na ho yung mga substantial na part doon sa area na congested. Tapos yung hong ano, yung Samal area, nabid na po natin yan. Yung Samal Bridge, nabid na po yan. At nasa kasalukuyang ginagawa na ho yung contract signing to be financed with, by the uh, Chinese government. At saka yun din pong ano, saka yun din kasi design and build po yan. Kaya't mag-uumpisa na yung design phase niya this uh, August. Yun pong ano niya, yung sa bypass po, natapos na rin po yung uh, ano, but this is financed by JICA. Nasa kanalan na rin po yung mga results of the bidding, procurement for their concurrence at saka para magkaroon din ng uh, yung loan agreement po. Thank you very much, music people. And uh, Mr. Chair, as you know well, the Samail Island Bridge as well as the Bypass Coastal Road uh, will not only benefit the 14 LGUs that are uh, mentioned in this bill, but also those all along the way. Is there anyone who can update us, Mr. Chair, uh, about the troubled uh, SASA port? Baka alam ni na Congressman Ungab. Ano na ba ang latest dyan? Uh, Actually, Ungab, Madam Senator, if, if it's not in my district, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, uh, sa support is not in my district. It's in I the see, second district. Perhaps the OTR, the OTR, uh, Senator Marcos can answer. 
The OTR, ah, no, sino ba? Okay. Yes, the OTR is uh, represented by Edna Clemente. Are you around? The OTR? Department of Transportation? Good morning, Mr. Chair. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, can you answer the question uh, of Senator just, Marcos? Uh, good morning, Senator Marcos. Um, I apologize, po, because I, I come from the Road Transport Planning Division and the work is under the um, responsibilities of Maritime Transport Service. That's right, Manager. that's right. At baka PPA pa nga, ano? Opo. Yes, kung so, maari na lang, Mr. Chair, um, if uh, the committee could request an update on the SASA port development, which has had such a troubled history, um, we need to get it going also uh, to push the uh, the uh, objectives of the Metro Davao Regional Development Authority. Thank you. The committee notes the manifestation of Senator Marcos. Uh, the chair was likewise... Uh, intending to ask a question relative to the proposed Samal Island Airport. Tuloy pa ba to? The OTR, kaya niyong sagutin o si uh, DPWS. There was a plan before to put up an airport in the island garden city of Samal. Tuloy pa ba to? Who can answer? Uh, the OTR or DPWH? On the part of DPWH, your honor, Mm -hmm. uh, airport na project sa, sa Samal Island. Uh, 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 ano po? On the part of DPWH, Your Honor, we don't have any airport project yeah. in Samal Island. Okay. So there is no airport project in no, Samal. No. Yeah, uh, on the part of DPWH, so we are not aware of that, uh, Your Honor. You are not aware. Perhaps the OTR, but we, we don't have the appropriate person here. It's a road project daw siya. So, air, aviation naman yun. Perhaps, Congressman Unga, are you aware of this? There was a planned airport project in uh, the island garden city of Samal before? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I haven't heard of it. And uh, usually, if I uh, attended uh, meetings of the RDC, it's usually the, the bridge that is uh, being taken up. Well, my per personal opinion ko lang, uh, kung may bridge na, malapit na sa airport ang Samal. It's a few minutes away, Mr. Chairman. Yes, the reason why I mentioned that was when I visited Samal before, months ago, may tinuro sa aking site, dito po yung airport. So, hindi ko na ma ma naguluhan na rin po ako. But uh, we we accept your, ano, your answer on that. Senator Bongo is online. I think uh, the good senator would like to make a statement. He's one of the authors of the 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 mmmdda uh before we ask the other resource person senator go uh you have the floor senator bongo you're recognized hello hello yes we hear you senator but we cannot see you your face senator <laughs> Yes, sir. Senator Bongo, you have the floor. Hello? Yes, we can Hello. hear you, Senator Go. We can hear you, sir. Senator Bongo. No, no problem. Kasi may pasahero ako eh. Alam mo, may pasahero. Dapat alam ko lang. Senator Go, we can we can hear you. You're recognized now. Wala. No problem. Sabi mo sa kanila, no problem. No problem. Oh, very much. Sabi mo, very much welcome silang. Very Senator much. Go, very. your statement, please. Uh, we we now we now ask as general uh, Escobal, uh, PNP, uh, Police Brigadier General Filmore Escobal, are you around, sir? Just a few questions coming from the chair. Yes, sir. Sir, itong pagtatag ng uh, MDDA, unlike the Metropolitan Manila experience which I had before, 
we had a separate NCRPO just for that uh, uh, area. Now, within the region, there will be a separate development authority. Would it entail the creation of another uh, sub-regional office? Uh, similar to the structure we had before. Uh, during my younger days, there was this sub-regional office for a sub Regional Office for Region 4B. Tama po ba, di ba? Dating gano'n, hindi nakabukod yun sa 4A eh. Sub-regional, bago siya naging separate 4B. Tama po ba yun? So, mga nga ilangan baho ito ng pagtatayo ng isang uh, Metro Dabao Development Authority Sub-Regional Office ng uh, Philippine National Police. Diyan, Escobal. Yes, sir. Actually, sir, that's the intention also, sir, uh, of, uh, and that will entail the creation of a police district within uh, PRO 11. So, may I read my statement, sir? Go ahead, General Escobal. Yes, sir. To the honorable members of the Committee on Local Government, led by its chairperson, <coughs> Honorable Senator Francis Tolentino, sir, joined with the Committee on Government and Public Enterprise and to the other resource persons invited today. Good morning. On behalf of the Philippine National Police, led by its Chief Police General, Guillermo Lorenzo T. Eliasar, and the entire Police Regional Office 11, I would like to express its sincerest gratitude for considering the participation of our organization in the deliberation of Senate Bill Number 2157, and not creating the Metropolitan Double Development Authority, defining its powers and functions, and providing funds, therefore, uh, authored by Senator Christopher Bongo, Senate Bill Number 2153, and not creating the Metropolitan Double Development Authority, defining its powers and functions, and providing funds, therefore, by Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa, and Senate Bill Number 2116, and not creating the Metropolitan Double Regional Development Authority, Defining its powers and functions and providing funds, therefore, by Senator Aimee R. Mar R. Marcos. Senate Bill Numbers 2157, 2153, and 2116 articulates the creation of the Metropolitan Dabao Development Authority, defining its powers and functions. The Philippine National Police, particularly the Police Regional Office 11, welcomes this development and fully supports the enactment of these bills. For the information of this honorable committee, during the regular RDC 11 meeting in 2019, Dabo City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio espoused the creation of Metropolitan Dabo Development Authority. Through this was transcribed and approved by NEDA 11 through Resolution Number 143, Series of 2019. The proposed creation of M MDDA entails the activation of a police force to cater to its public safety and security and traffic management concerns within NDDA coverage. In response to this, PRO 11 has already activated a unit, uh, Metropolitan Dabao Police Task Force. This is an interim unit that caters and supports in the attainment of MDDA's developmental goals and likewise consistent to the PNP's mission and mandate pursuant to Republic Act 6975 as amended by RA 8551. Hence, PRO 11 is looking forward to the enactment of, the, of these bills. This would pave the way for the establishment of the Metropolitan Dabao Police Office, which is equivalent to a police district, responsible for the implementing of programs, policies, and procedures to achieve public safety for which the PNP under Section 2 of RA 8551 is responsible for the maintenance of peace and order and public safety. We therefore request Senators Christopher Lawrence Bongo, Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa, and Senator Amy R. Marcos, the authors of Senate Bill 2157, 2153, and 2116, respectively, to consider the inclusion of the provision establishing the Metropolitan Dabo Police Office or District. The purpose of the creation of the Metropolitan Dabo Police Office is to focus in the attainment of a peaceful metropolitan Dabao in preparation for economic development and response to the emerging concerns on peace and security, transport and traffic management. It shall function, it shall, it shall have the following function. 
assume operational control over the city and municipal stations under the territorial jurisdiction of Metropolitan Dabo Development Authority. Integrate law enforcement and internal security operations, communications, disaster risk reduction and management, and police operation capabilities under the Metropolitan Dabo Development Authority. Develop public safety and security master plan. Ensure the accomplishment of BNP mission and mandate within the areas covered by the MMDA. And to lie us with the local government units, NAPOLCOM and other agencies, and involved BNP units on the plans and programs of the, in, of the Metropolitan uh, Dabao Police Force. And perform other tasks as directed by authorities. The creation of Metropolitan Dabao will not, uh, police office will not entail enormous budget since the commander and personnel will come from the Philippine National Police. Further, the provisions pertaining to ordinances with, with penal sanctions under Section 9 of State Bill 2157 and 2153 requires enforcement by a police force. Thus, the inclusion of provision of the establishment of Metropolitan Davao Police Office is justified. Also, the topography of Metropolitan Davao allows criminal elements and terrorists to take advantage by moving to and from different local government territory after committing crime to avoid detection, arrest, and prosecution. Relatedly, the regional agglomeration strategy which this bill's put emphasis would be an advantage to the Philippine National Police in enforcing its mandate in cities under the jurisdiction of the Metropolitan Davao Development Authority. Thank you very much and uh, po ang, po kayo. Thank so you, Janice uh, Thank you, Janice Before we uh, recognize Senator Go for his uh, opening statement, ang tanong ko po dito, will the Metro Davao Police Office be under the PPO or will be will it be a separate uh, district? Definitely it will be under uh, PRO 11. So paano po yung magiging setup nito? Kasi this is the part of the bill of uh, Senator uh, uh, Congressman Ungab and all the other uh, bills uh, being considered right now by this committee. So paano po siya? Uh, do we have a template for this? So, sana nagawa ito? Uh, uh, if, if, if we will follow sir, the structure of NCRPO, uh, the NCRPO has uh, uh, several uh, police districts. So, what will happen, sir, the Metropolitan Davao Police uh, Office or District will be under the PRO, uh, under, still under the PRO 11 as a district. So, as of now, PRO 11 has uh, six provincial police office. So, with the creation of the MTDA, sir, magkakaroon po ng isang district to cater to the public safety concerns of the Metropolitan Davao Development Authority. Thank you, po, sir. I understand. So it will now appear like your, your uh, uh, Eastern Police District, Southern Police District in, in Metro Manila. Uh, tama po. I, I, yes, I understand it now. So, uh, Senator Go, uh, are you ready for your uh, statement, sir? Uh, Senator Go is recognized. Uh, good day, uh, Mr. Chair and fellow uh, colleagues. Uh, I laud the uh, Chair for hearing this measure, which is very much close uh, to home. I filed Senate Bill uh, number 2157, creating the Metropolitan Davao uh, Development uh, Authority, M MDDA, uh, para na rin ito po tayong magkakaroon ng MMDA. Uh, this will address the growing needs of Davao and its uh, other nearby cities through the services which will be provided by the MDDA, such as uh, development planning, transport management, solid uh, waste disposal and management, urban zoning, land use planning, shelter services, health and sanitation, as well as public uh, safety. Ako po taga Davao din po mismo at alam ko po uh, paano po uh, umunlad ang ating uh, uh, rehiyon na napaka bilis dahil sa mabilis na paglago ng ekonomiya ng Davao City Island Garden of City of Samal magkakaroon na po ito ng tulay talagang uh, mas kakailanganin lalo and of course Digos, Tagum, Panabo, Mati, Santa Cruz, Carmen, Maco at Malita at pagtaas ng populasyon sa bawat uh, lugar uh, panahon na po na upang magkaroon doon ng isang uh, sentralisadong ahensya na siyang magbibigay ng isang direksyon at magsisilbing gabay sa Davao City at karatig na LGUs nito. Mayroon po kasing mga proyekto at pasilidad na hindi po 
kakayanin ng individual na LGU na bayaran dahil sa mahal na mga sa mahal na mga ito tulad ng waste disposal management, flood control and sewage uh, management, pollution control, shelter services and sanitation services. Ito po ay ilan lamang sa mga tulong na may dudulot ng Metro Davao Development uh, Authority. Sa totoo lang po, napakalaki talaga ng uh, Davao Region, hindi lang po sa land area, pati po yung populasyon. At napakadami na hong uh, pumupunta sa Davao, kahit na uh, hindi talaga sila presidente ng uh, Davao, hindi mo masusukat doon yung uh, populasyon. Dahil kahit sabihin mo, isang milyon lang sa Davao City, napakadami pong nasa kapit uh, probinsya na po na nakatira ngayon dyan sa Davao. I think it's... Uh, almost half, dodoblehin po yung population ng Dabao. Uh, bukod pa po sa aking mga binanggit, magiging uh, tulay din po ang MDDA para makapagbuklod ang publiko at pribadong sektor. Uh, uh, dahil isa sa mga mandato nito ay ang uh, pakikipagtulungan sa mga pribadong organisasyon at sa mga businesses na nag-ooperate sa metropolitan na uh, uh, Dabao. Ang rehiyon ng Davao ay isa din sa pinakamaunlad na rehiyon sa Mindanao at nagsisilbing gateway sa buong Mindanao sa larangan ng turismo, transportasyon, edukasyon, kalakalan at iba pa. Kung, may, uh, kung mas mapapabuti pa ang rehiyon ito, magdudulot ito ng uh, malaking uh, epekto po sa karatig na uh, rehiyon sa, sa, sa Mindanao. Malaking tulong po talaga ito sa pamamagitan ng MDDA Uh, may pagpapatuloy po natin ang uh, pangakong binitawan ng mahal na Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte at uh, ng inyong lingkod na mabigyan ng maginhawa at komportabling buhay ang uh, bawat uh, uh, Pilipino. Uh, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga resource uh, persons na uh, nandito sa inyong uh, suporta dito sa MDDA. Uh, salamat also to our uh, uh, Chairman, Senator Tolentino. At alam kong dati siyang... Uh, na uh, MMDA at malapit na rin po sa kanya yung mga taga Davao uh, region. Uh, salamat uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you Senator Go. Uh, thank you for that uh, remarks. But now the chair would not like the chair would now recognize the presence of a uh, Davao City Chamber of Commerce and Industry uh, President Dr. Maria Lourdes Monteverde. Are you Good around? Morning, Ma'am? Sir. Good morning, everyone. Saan po kayo, ma'am? Ah, nandito you... po, Davao. Yes. Uh, Mayang buntag po. Uh, can you, uh, can, we, can we give your reaction to this? Paano po mangyayari nito? There is a Davao City Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And now we will be, if this is approved, we will be expanding to 10 or 14 LGUs. Is the Davao City Chamber of Commerce and Industry prepared to expand? its coverage to include members coming from the uh, other 11 uh, LGUs, so 13 LGUs, uh, ma'am. So how, how will this, are you supportive of this? How will this affect uh, business and commerce in, in the Davao city area and beyond? Uh, uh, Dr. Monteverde, you have the floor. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, in behalf of the Davao City Chamber of Commerce, We welcome this development of the uh, of the creation of the Metro Davao Development Authority, and we recognize some challenges inside, even from the business sector. But uh, this is not much of a challenge because we are really working for one Davao, wherein we can have a coordinated infrastructure development, coordinated um, uh, some. Uh, issues that will concern other government agencies, especially the big projects that we have for Davao City. So, um, in behalf of the Davao City Chamber, may I be allowed to read our uh, letter for that is addressed to your office, Senator, uh, for this morning? And ma'am, is it a long love letter or is it a short letter? Uh, ano lang naman po ito? So, very, very short lang po. Go ahead, ma'am. Hindi naman po letter, sir. Sandali lang, sir. I'm just uh, getting the key information for a while. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 
Um, Dear Honorable Senator Tolentino, this is a love letter pala, sir. Greetings from Davao City Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the Davao City Chamber of Commerce and Industry, as the voice of the business community of Davao, is one with the other business groups and stakeholders for the whole Davao and even in Mindanao in supporting the objectives of Metro Davao Development Authority, recognizing its tremendous impact that it will bring in the economic recovery and growth in the region. We concur with the Honorable Mayor Sara Duterte when she explained that once MDDA is created, it will make everyone move as one in terms of drafting plans for waste disposal, traffic, infrastructure, security, and disaster resiliency, amongst others. Davo Chamber espouses the business resilience in the region, and MDDA will centralize and oversee the development efforts and initiatives of the cities and towns it covers. Mm -hmm. It will address the demands of the burgeoning businesses and increase industrial and institutional activities. With this, we commend the Senate Committee on Local Government in conducting this public <coughs> hearing on creating the Metro Davao Development Authority. We are one with you in the creation of this MDDA. Thank you and good morning, sir. Thank you, uh, Dr. Malu Monteverde. The, the chair now is, uh, is apparently aware of a previous commitment I gave to uh, several members of the lower house, uh, Congressman Victor Yap, uh, Lorna Bautista, and, Cong and uh, Congressman Mayo, Mayo Al Almario, that uh, their bills will be taken up at 11.30. Apparently, I failed in that commitment because it's now 11, 11.25, 27. So, ma'am, last question ko sa inyo because the, the chair is now inclined to suspend deliberation of this measure and we will be continuing on June 10 uh, next week, uh, Congressman Ungab, uh, because a lot of resource persons have yet to to speak and, and one vital uh, resource person here is that they should, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, because I foresee with the approval of this bill, a lot of zoning measures would have to be enacted locally, and this will be a lot of a uh, a lot of configurations in terms of where the tourism site should be, uh, where the industrial site should be. So I acknowledge the presence of the public estate authority here. So this this would take us uh, a lot of time plus. Uh, we still have to hear from the NEDA Region 11. We've been trying to contact them uh, since the start of this uh, hearing. So I, the, 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 the chair now, uh, in view of the long list of resource persons that have yet to speak, is now inclined without objection on the part of the other members of the committee to suspend deliberations of this hearing and continue and fight and hopefully we finish on June 10 uh, with your indulgence Congressman Ungab. Uh, June 10 is just next week. Uh, even if we're on a break, I, I will be here uh, physically present uh, Congressman Ungab. I promise you and I promise our colleagues that I will be here in the Senate premises even if we're on a break. So. I would just like to advise the the uncalled resource persons, specifically the ILG, the DAR, the DBM, the DOF, the special specially mentioned the SHUD, the DOLE, the DNR, the DTI, the Department of Tourism. I'm, I'm specially mentioning now tourism. You have to prepare for this because this will be a tourist area, the coastal area of uh, Davao Gulf, the BIR. The, the PSA, the Census Authority, and the PESA, uh, please prepare your not mirror image of the mirror image of your position papers, but uh, answers to the following questions. Will it entail the creation of another sub office within your agency to address the concerns of the proposed? Metro Davao Development Authority. Number two, how will the creation of a Metro Davao Development Authority ensure 
through the participation of your office, the growth of that area without neglecting the growth of the LGUs not included in the 10 or the 10 plus 4. Number three, how will the creation of the MDDA improve your performance within Region 11? If you can prepare answers to those three questions for our next June 10 scheduled hearings that the agencies I mentioned a while ago, it will be brief and simple. Okay, Bayon, uh, Congressman Ungab, uh, because I understand the the problems with connectivity, you just came from a typhoon, kaya nahirapan din tayong makontak yung iba nating uh, uh, resource persons coming from the Davao area. Without objections on the part of my colleagues, this committee hearing is suspended and we will uh, commence on June 10, 2021 at 10 a.m. So order. Thank you. All the other all the other resource persons are now excused. Uh, for the next for the next uh, agenda of this committee, we would like to hear from the ILG, the DepEd, the CHED, and DOLE. Nagpapasalamat po ang committee ito dun sa mga uh, umatend. Maiwan na lang po yung DILG, DepEd, CHED, and DOLE. And to our uh, colleagues from the Senate, maraming salamat po sa inyong participation. The same goes through to Congressman Isidro Ungab of Davao City. Dagang salamat po sa inyo. Dagang salamat. Thank you, Chairman. May, may we now proceed? Uh, this committee will now proceed with the... Uh, the deliberation of a uh, House Bill House Bill 3881, House Bill 8380, as well as House Bill 7651. Uh, Secretariat, can you acknowledge the presence of our resource persons? Good morning, Mr. Chair. Good morning to our resource persons. We acknowledge the presence of the DILG, Department of Interior and Local Government, uh, represented by Assistant Secretary Odilon Pasaraba of the Special Concerns, Local and Government Sector, and from the Department of Education, Ms. May Eklar, Regional Director of Dep Ed Region 3, and Attorney Benigno Masungkad, Legal Officer of Dep Ed Region 11. We also have from the Department of Labor and Employment, Ms. Emila de Guzman, Supervising Labor and Employment Officer of the Bureau of Working Conditions. And we also have from the Commission on Higher Education, Attorney Frederick Mikael Farolan, Director 4 of the Legal and legislative service. That's all, Mr. Chair. Good morning. Is, is Congressman uh, Victor Yap around? Congressman uh, Victor Yap. Good morning. Good morning, Senator. Yes, uh, the, the committee. The, the committee will will tackle the following bills in this order. We tackle first House Bill eight seven six eight seven six five one. Thereafter, House Bill three eight eight one and then House Bill 8380. House Bill 7651 is authored by the Honorable Victoria of Tarlac. It is an act declaring June 10, malapit na to, of every year, a special non-working holiday in the province of Tarlac to be known as the Danding Kohanko Day in commemoration of the birth anniversary of Ed Ambassador Eduardo Danding Kohanko, authored by Honorable Victoria. Congressman Yap, you have the floor for your opening statement. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman and members of the committee. Um, it's my honor to uh, introduce uh, or ask for the uh, consequent passage in the Senate. The House Bill number 7651, and that is to recognize the enormous and unparalleled contributions of the late Eduardo Dending Murphy Kowanko Jr., or ECJ, to the country particularly in his home province of Tarlac. 
The late ECJ is one of the pillars of the province of Perla. Its unparalleled contributions to the socioeconomic development of the province and its people is second to none. Further, he was a true servant leader who exemplified the tradition of devotion and dedication, not only in the province, but also to the entire nation. Through his commendable leadership in the San Miguel Corporation, he served as chairman and CEO of San Miguel, a company dedicated to generating thousands of employment opportunities to Filipinos. To date, SMC remains to be at the helm of the country's development through its numerous infrastructure projects. Among the philanthropic projects of ECJ are Project HOPE and Project FREE. Project HOPE provides free training and job opportunities to out-of-school youths, while Project FREE gives scholarship to teachers who are taking their master's and doctorate degrees through the ECF. ECJ's dedication to the province of Tarlac and the entire nation cannot be underscored. Truly, his unique style of quiet but meaningful service left imprints upon his constituents whose lives he had touched. In recognition of the immense contribution of ECJ to the country and as an expression of gratitude for his genuine love for the province of Tarlac, I am urging the committee to consider this bill's immediate approval, and that is declaring June 10 of every year a special non-working holiday in the province of Tarlac and to be known as the Nding Kawangko Day in commemoration of the late ECJ, birth anniversary of ECJ. Thank you very much. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, yep. Can I clarify this? Is this the birth anniversary or the death anniversary? Yes. Yes, sir. Birth anniversary. Birth an anniversary. Uh, Congressman, yep. Uh, we, we, will, we will proceed in this manner. We'll be asking the the remarks coming from the DILG, DepEd, and CHED, and uh, the the only the only bone of contention here probably is the demarcation as a uh, non-working holiday because there have been several bills uh, passed last during the last few months wherein the issue of working and non-working was thoroughly discussed. But I'm I am in uh, complete agreement that the, um, the good ambassador should be recognized, uh, not just uh, in, in, in the aspects mentioned by Congressman Yap, but even in sports, Congressman Danding Kohanko was really the prime mover of the development of our, our sports, not just basketball, but even amateur sports and even uh, sports not known to uh, the generation of this date so it is just fitting that we recognize the, the 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 advocacy of the late ambassador in sports plus his philanthropic uh, values uh, congressman so karapat dapat po talaga na kilalanin si si congressman danding at uh, kung matatandaan nyo uh, congressman uh, yap day after the death of a uh, congressman uh, uh, the good ambassador i was what one of the first who issued a statement uh, relative to the great loss suffered by the industry as well as the, the country as well. So I am in full support of this, but we just want to uh, go through the process. I will be asking uh, Chet Dole and Dep Ed uh, with, your, with your indulgence, uh, Congressman. Nandito naman sila. Thank so, yes, Dole. Uh, yeah. yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you also for those added uh, uh, and of, our, of his contributions to the country and the sports. Thank you, Congressman. Dole, we have uh, Ms. Emilia de Guzman of the Bureau of Working Conditions, Department of Labor Thank and Employment. Are you around, ma'am? Yes, Mr. Chair. Can good you morning. come closer to your microphone? Kasi medyo... Opo. Yes, good morning, Mr. Chair, and good morning to the members of the committee. Yes po, yung na-mention po, uh, the Department of Labor and Employment. Pakilapit lang po, po ma'am. Hindi po. Uh, siguro po gamitin po itong aking uh, agrit lang po. So I'm going to use my mic. Mamalino na po, sir. Loud and clear, ma'am. Loud and clear. Dinig na po. Hello? 
Sir? Okay na po. Okay. okay, na po. okay. We can hear you. We Hello, can hear you. tama na po. Nadinig na. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, uh, the department has consist consistently maintained its reservation against any proposed measure intended to celebrate significant historical, religious, cultural, and special events declaring such measures as special non-working holiday. Kasi po meron to yung mga negative implications like po sa mga daily paid workers kapag uh, declared special non-working holiday wala po silang sweldo on that day. Well, sa part naman po ni employer, if they required to, uh, uh, if they require their employees to report for work, mauubliga po silang magbayad ng additional 30%. So, dagdag uh, cost po sa part ni employer ito. So, we, we encourage na lang po na itong mga significant uh, event, uh, pwede pong i-declare na lang as a special working holiday para ma-observe din po yung, uh, yung special event and at the same time, yung mga empleyado ay kung magtatrabaho sila, meron din po silang sweldo sa part ni employer, hindi naman po siya obligado magbayad ng additional 30%. So, yun pa rin po ang uh, stand ng dole. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Ma'am, uh, pwede ba magtanong ng konti? So, ang issue ninyo, pag nagkaroon ng... Uh nagkaroon ng isang declaration ng special non-working holiday, karagdagang gastos ng employer? Yun po ba, ma'am? Opo, opo. So, so, ang ibig sabihin po nito, mahihirapan yung employer. Parang ganon. Uh, uh, medyo ganon na rin po. <laughs> ganon po, po ang sinasabi to, to. If you look at the reason behind this, the late ambassador is one of the greatest uh, employers of this generation and the previous generation. You're talking of San Miguel Corporation. You're talking of uh, other businesses well established that serve as the foundation of the Philippine economy. Eh, hindi po pwedeng pantayan yun na itulong ni Ambassador Danding Kowangko sa ekonomiya at sa industriya ng Pilipinas. Di po ba? Tama so po. So if we, if we weigh this, and I, and I hope uh, Congressman uh, Victoria is in concurrence, the contribution to the Philippine economy of the late Ambassador Danding Kowangko is beyond measure than mm. the computations that you can probably derive from the Labor Code of the Philippines and other existing laws. Immeasurable. Cannot be valued. So what the good congressman probably is saying through House Bill 7651 is that we remove this from our own usual calculator method because the significance is deeply embedded in all the individual employees, the thousands of employees assisted by the good Congress, the good ambassador, the late ambassador, in his various entrepreneurial industrial endeavors, banking institutions, San Miguel corporations, food and beverages. You have you have everything, uh, uh, director. So what what the good congressman is probably saying is this is a special measure that could serve as a good inspiration for other employers to follow the footsteps of the great the late ambassador that one should go steps beyond to help his employees so this is beyond the labor code ma'am yun po yung siguro yung Sinasabi ni Congressman Yap, your reaction to my comments, uh, Director. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am, we can hear you. Ah, ako po. <laughs> Sorry. So, ma, as uh, uh, Mr. Chair, yung po kasi namang um, declaration, wala naman pong issue dun sa mga malalaking establishments. So, kasi they can afford to pay. Dun sa mga maliliit, yung small and micro, sila po yung maaapektuhan ng mga additional 30%.
Kasi nasabi ko po, si Ambassador Danding Kowanko represents the Filipino employer par, exem, par excellence uh, director. So, ibig sabihin, yung paggunita sa kanyang kaarawan ay dapat kilalanin bilang halimbawa ng isang Pilipinong naglingkod sa kanyang mga kababayan at sa kanyang mga empleyado na hindi katulad nung iba. Uh, yes. is, will that make a sense, uh, Director? Na hindi naman siya yung, hindi sa minamaliit natin yung ibang okay. uh, employer, like pero to... malawak po yung naging contribution niya. Congressman, you have your recognize. Uh, yeah, I would like to make an appeal to Dole. Eh. That bit. Uh, we recognize that uh, the special non-working holidays uh, request uh, from the House, Maramian. But in the province of Tarlac, on the record, not even my father. This is the only first time that we've requested. And this only affects our province. The whole province supports this. And I think even on special non-working holidays, negosyo. In fact, open silo. Yeah, sana makonsider yung amin. Um, thank you. Uh, Director, na narinig niyo po si Congressman. Alam niyo po, ganito yung sasabihin ko rin sa iba. Uh, kung kung lahat po ng ating, all, all these computations are good during normal times. Walang pandemic. Walang pandemic. Walang covid na nakadagdag sa sa employer na baka mahirapan din yung employer magmintay ng employees but during this pandemic period if you compute if you utilize i don't have the records perhaps other government agencies can do this ganong kalaki po ang nawala sa employer ganong kalaki na nawala sa employees sa loob ng isang taon at lab anim na buwan Eh, siguro po, pag pinagsama-sama niyo po yun, eh, parang araw-araw tayo nag-holiday. Araw-araw tayo nag-special holiday. Sobra pa. Sobra pa. I don't have the figures. But all of all of your, uh, with all due respect, all of your reasoning probably would be applicable during normal times. Pero sa pinagdaanan natin itong pandemyang ito, eh, sobra-sobra na po yung nawala sa mga employer. Yung iba po, hindi na ho nagbukas eh. Yung iba nagsara ng lockdown. Sobra-sobra na rin yung nawala sa employees that your usual labor law regulations would probably be not applicable. And if we take into consideration the contributions given by Ambassador Danding Kowanko, ay sobra-sobra na rin po yung naibigay niyang tulong sa mga manggagawang Pilipino at sa industriya at ekonomiya ng Pilipinas. So siguro yung po yung hiling ni Congressman Yap, na ito naman po ay sa lalawigan lang ng Tarlac at sila mm -hmm. naman po ay nagkakaisa na magkaroon ng special non-working holiday. At hindi naman po siguro Congressman tumututol yung mga uh, mga tindahat, mga groceries at establishment sa lalawigan ng Tarlac na gunitain itong araw ng June 10 bilang danding ko ako. Okay, Tama po ba yung Congressman? Tama po. Padala na. Uh, tama po, uh, Chairman. At uh, ito naman nga po ay uh, talagang suportado ng lahat ng munisipyo at uh, masasabi ko lahat na rin siguro lang at ng barangay ay isang ayon na i-daos ito. Kaya hindi naman careless na nilapit namin ito. This is the first time that the province of Tarlac in so many years, uh, except na nare-recall ko ng time ni Ninoy Aquino, that's it. Uh, Director, uh, any remarks? Uh -oh. uh, anyway, Madam, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we support the intent of the bill naman po. Basta yun lang po nabanggit ko uh, kung ano po yung magiging negative implication. Pero kung, kung ganun po ang mangyayari na, na the dole supports the intent of the bills po. Salamat po. <laughs> yes, po uh, thank, you, thank you, Director. Thank you, Director. Can we ask Chad if Chad is around the uh, Commission on Higher Education? Ah, nawala daw yung Chad. Uh, siguro ito yung tong sa mga schools. How many universities will be affected, Congressman? Sa Tarlac? Tarlac State University? Uh, 
Tarlac Agricultural University um, uh, and a couple of more private, big private uh, universities there. We'll just probably ask the Chad for their position paper. Uh, is DepEd still around? DepEd? Nandito po ba kayo? DepEd? Uh, yes, sir. Good morning po. Can you identify yourself, ma'am? Uh, May Eklar po, the regional director of uh, Central Luzon. Your, your uh, response concerning this uh, measure? Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, your honors, and to everyone who are in this uh, public hearing. Magandang tanghali po. Uh, it is a privilege to be invited in the Senate public hearing and give a statement of support to House Bill uh, 7651 on behalf of DepEd, particularly for the Schools Division of Tarlac Province and the Schools Division of Tarlac City. Uh, if I may be allowed, sir, to read our statement of support very briefly lang po. Uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, through the Eduardo Cojuanco Foundation, the late Ambassador Eduardo Dante Cojuanco's benevolence, was felt by the teachers, learners, and youth in the province of Tarlac with his scholarship programs which helped build the Tarlacanio youth's aspiration to prosper in life. He believed that the teacher's professional competence will gear towards excellence in education in the province. Thus, he sponsored Project Free, or yung tinatawag na flagship to reach education excellence, in partnership with the Tarlac State University and La Salle University in Bacolod. The Project Free has opened the doors to more than 2,000 teachers in SDO Tarlac Province and SDO Tarlac City to finish their Master of or Doctor in Education courses and improve in their teaching and uh, school management skills. The late Ambassador Eduardo Cohuanco saw his young self in the Tarlacanio OSYs and said that if they will just be given the opportunity, they will also be able to contribute in the progress of the province. Thus, the project hope or honing opportunities for productivity and employment rose. The project hope literally gave hope to the out of school youth in the province. The project graduated 1,500 OSYs in the field of technical and vocational courses and gained employment, which ultimately improved their lives. Likewise, his scholarship program, which benefited thousands of underprivileged but deserving Talakenyo high school graduates, was instrumental for the scholars to finish a course and get a decent job. Hence, for and on behalf of the teachers and the young people of Tarlac province and as the regional director of Central Luzon, being a Tarlacenya myself, and who had the opportunity to collaborate and work with the late Ambassador Eduardo Tanding Cojuanco way back in 2015 on these projects as then the school division uh, superintendent of Tarlac. I strongly support House Bill number 7651 that every 10th day of June be declared a special non working holiday in the province of Tarlac to be known as Tanding Cojuanco Day. June 10 as a non-working holiday will not affect the opening cl of classes as the FED is moving towards a letter later opening of classes to August. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mabuhay po kayo. Sal salamat po, uh, Director uh, Eklar, May Eklar. Uh, lumalabas po rito, hindi kayo tumututol. Again, it highlights the contributions made by the late ambassador, especially in the education sector. So, uh, you're correct. August will be the school opening. So thank you, Director Eklar. We now go to the ILG, Assistant Secretary Odilion Pasaraba uh, of the DILG. Are you still around? DILG? Wala ata ang DILG, pero nandito sila kanina. Baka akala kasama sila dun sa Dabao lang? Ha? Mr. Chair? DILG, you're still around? Uh if if the direct, uh, director of the is not present, I am the OIC regional director of uh, the IG Region Three, Mr. Chair. Yes, the question Friendly. now is: uh, Are you in favor of the uh, declaration of June 10 as a Danding Kuwango Day for Tarlac? We support this uh, measure coming from the good uh, Congressman Yap. No, uh, kailangan po natin ng uh, isang uh, ehemplo, epitome po ng isang mahusay, matino at masahan na public official. At ito po, uh, 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 public servants po, no? mga taong tumulong sa atin sa susudan. So ito pong holiday nito ay magpapakita, magpapamanas po na tinatangkilik natin ang mga gawain maganda ng isang leader, mag naging mag uh, magaling na leader po ng ating komunidad. So supportado po ng DIG 
ang uh, measure po na sinusulong ng ating congressman. Yeah. Magandang hapon po, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Director. Uh, I, I saw Senator Amy Marcos a while ago uh, logging in. Senator Marcos, are you still around? Yes, I would um, simply like to uh, yeah. lend support to uh, the Dandin Kawangko Day and uh, kumustahin ko lang mga kaibigan natin si na Congressman Victor and the rest. Thank you, Senator Amy Marcos. So without objection on the part of my colleagues, uh, the House House Bill number 7651 declaring June 10 of every, every year as a special non-working holiday in the province of Tarlac to be known as the Dinkoanko Day in commemoration of the birth anniversary of Eduardo Dandinkoanko is hereby approved and referred to the Senate plenary. We now go Maraming. to... Uh, Maraming maraming yes. salamat po, Chairman, for your unwavering support and the support of other members of the committee at uh, sa ating national agencies. We understand the mandatory reservations of Dole. Despite that, thank you. Thank you, Congressman uh, Yap. We now proceed to the deliberation of House Bill 3881, an act declaring June 18 of every year as a special non-working holiday in the municipality of Santa Maria, province of Davao Occidental in commemoration, commemoration of its founding anniversary uh, filed by Congresswoman Lorna P. Bautista Bandingan. Congresswoman, are, are you still around, ma'am? Your Honor? Uh, Congressman Ungab is raising his hand. Congressman Ungab? Yes, sir, you recognize Your Honor. Are you representing yes, uh, Congress, yes, Congresswoman uh, Lorna Bautista? Yes, Mr. Chairman, Senator Tolentino, Senator Marcos, members of this committee. Uh, Congresswoman Lorna Bautista Bandigan requested me to represent her, considering that uh, she's in the Bo Occidental and uh, she cannot get through the internet, uh, Mr. Chairman. She requested, she requested me to uh, speak on her behalf about uh, House Bill uh, number 3881, which is an act declaring Go ahead, June sir. Go ahead. Go of, ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman, it is an act declaring June 18 of every year as a special non-working holiday in the municipality of Santa Maria, province of Davao Occidental, in commemoration of its uh, foundation, foundation anniversary, Mr. Chairman. So I request the good chairman to uh, consider this bill uh, for approval. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Congressman, if I may ask uh, just one question. How old is the province, uh, the municipality of Santa Maria, uh, province of Dabo Occidental? How long has uh, it been? Uh, actually, I am not uh, very particular of the history, pero uh, matagal na ito kasi neighboring naman na kasi Dabo City ako, Dabo del Sur sila. It is one of the five uh, municipalities na napasama sa, sa Dabo Occidental, uh, Mr. Chairman. And this five used to be towns. Part, this used to be part of Davao Oriental. Davao del Sur, Mr. Chairman. Davao del it used Sur, to be Davao del Sur, and uh, the new province of Davao Occidental was uh, created. Just uh, to touch a little history, I, I Congress, uh, she, Senator Marcos is around. Uh, um, she mentioned about her grandfather coming the. Um, former governor of uh, the Moro province here, uh, Davao and uh, Tutabato. Uh, the last uh, governor of the undivided Davao province was uh, the, also the grandfather of Mayor Sara and the father of uh, President Duterte. He was uh, Governor Vicente Duterte. So, uh, more or less, hindi ko na sabi kanina, yun yung areas na, the same areas more or less covered ng MM uh, Metro Davao Authority natin. So, so Davao. this used to be part of the original undivided uh, Davao province. Uh, that's, that's correct. That's... And Mr. Chair, for that reason, I uh, would also like to support uh, this bill given the newness of uh, the province and the municipality. It's very important that they celebrate and recall its foundation and origins. So, uh, um, as uh, Congressman Unga brightly said, uh, indeed, this is the part of, these are all parts of the uh, ancient, undivided Cotabato and Davao. 
that's that's my uh, earlier remarks uh, the vintage uh, uh, the lost kingdom of uh, Davao uh, Peninsula uh, Congress oh, yes. congressman uh, I was referring to that but may may we hear a brief uh, response from Dole uh, will will that be the same response that you gave uh, for Tarlac that you are opposing this Ma'am for the record we cannot hear you please unmute i sorry. Ah. Yes, Mr. Okay. Chair, we have the same position. However, kung mas marami pa mabibenefit, we interpose no objection on the matter. Thank you. Because we're now referring to... Ma Taka, matanong ko si Congressman, ba't hindi ito nakasama sa Metro Davao Development Authority? Medyo malayo? Uh, medyo malayo na. At saka, uh, actually, it was the... Kong, both uh, Congresswoman Lorna Bautista and Congresswoman Dindi Bautista, they were the one who requested that it will be Malita that will be included. Ma Dindi, Malita no, in Dindi. the Occidental. Yes. Oh, at saka, there was also a resolution from the from the governors uh, na isama yung, yung uh, Malita in the Occidental. So hindi nila nasama yung, hindi nila ni request na isama yung Santa Maria, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Congressman. May we now ask uh, the ILG Assistant Secretary for his uh, for their position relative to House Bill 3881? The uh, ILG, are you still around? Nahirapan din yung DILG magano? A uh, DILG? Mr. Chair, <laughs> speaking still in behalf of Attorney Odilo. Uh, we but, give, uh, uh, is this the ILG Region 3? Because, because we're now referring to Region 11. Exactly, uh, Mr. Chair. I'm from Region so, only. You cannot speak in behalf of Region 11 because you're mm -hmm. from Region 3. Yes, Mr. Chair. I think but, I'm the only the ILG uh, personnel here in this. Uh, uh, nawala na to si okay. Assistant Secretary Pasaraba. So um, you're not competent to speak on behalf of Region 11. Yes, Mr. Uh, I'm Chair. Sorry. Yes, yes Mr. Uh, Chair. But I think we have a, a, a congruence of opinion here that uh, the, the municipality of Santa Maria, province of Dabao del Sur, if this is their first uh, commemoration, uh, should, should be given that um, momentous date mark etched in a legislative enactment. And with the permission of uh, my colleague, Senator Amy Marcos, if she will move uh, yes. We can adapt this uh, for purposes of facilitating this uh, proceed, uh, proceedings, uh, Senator Ma Marcos. And, and with that, and facing no objections from any of the resource persons or even uh, the officials uh, involved, may I move, Mr. Chair, that uh, this be approved and uh, sent to plenary? So approved. We now consider the last measure, uh, House Bill 83. 8.0, an act expanding the coverage of the foundation days and feast days, a special non-working public holidays in the province of Davao Oriental to include cities, municipalities, and barangays therein, amending for the purpose Republic Act 8256, authored by Congressman Joel Mayo Almario, who is not around. Uh, he texted me that he is attending a commission and appointments uh, meeting so, but he sent a prepared statement. Secretariat, can you read the statement of uh, Congressman Almario? Please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The state, uh, statement of Congressman Ar Almario. My House Bill 8, Mr. Chairman, my House Bill 8380, expanding the coverage of Foundation Days and Feast Days as special non working public holidays in the province of Davao Oriental to include cities, municipalities, and barangays therein. Merely seeks to amend RA 8256, an act declaring Foundation Days and Feast Days in the province of Davao Oriental and the municipalities therein, a special non-working public holidays, which was enacted into law in February 13, 1997. Over the years, it has been common it has been common to observe public holidays during Foundation Days and Feast Days of the province of Davao Oriental, including its capital, the city of Mati, its 10 municipalities, and 183 barangays, sans a legal basis for the city and the barangays. To put things in their proper perspective, 
complete with legal cover, approval of this bill is earnestly sought. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My snappy salute from Representative Mayo Almario, 2nd District of Davao Oriental. Thank, Thank you, Mr. You, Secretariat. May, may we ask uh, Congressman Unga who's still around? Uh, I, I, I surmise that he is familiar with this measure, Congressman Unga, uh, filed by Congressman Almario. It's sick. There is an existing Republic Act already, Republic Act 8256. Now, the purpose of the measure under consideration is to expand the coverage of the foundation days and feast days, a special non-working public holidays, the province of Dabo Oriental, to include cities, municipalities, and barangays therein. So, Congressman, is, isn't the existing law sufficient enough uh, to cover? Because if it's a holiday within a, in a province, uh, the consequence is all, all the LGUs within the province should uh, celebrate, commemorate that holiday. So uh, can, can we have your uh, opinion on this? Because Congressman Almario is not around. Just to clarify the chair. Congressman, we cannot hear you. Congressman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I can only give my personal opinion on that uh, matter. Uh, actually, I have uh, all uh, my respect to uh, Congressman Mario Almario, who hope I happen to be a colleague uh, belonging, we belong to the same region. But yes, I agree with you that uh, when there is already an existing law covering the, the province, that would already cover the entire uh, the entire area, not unless it's a chartered city or a component city that uh, sometimes uh, they do not uh, enjoy the celebration of the province, uh, Mr. Chairman. So what, what we, we can only speculate here, what would be the reason why there is a need for uh, the expansion when it is implied that all LGUs within the province of Dabao Oriental are included in Republic Act 8526 uh, unless uh, there are new municipalities or LGUs which were re recently added to Dabao Oriental or was Dabao Oriental spliced in from a different uh, uh, LGU. And, uh, we, we now see Congressman Almario, uh, he's now around because we're about to suspend deliberations, uh, Congressman Almario, because we cannot we cannot seem to understand the purpose of your measure, uh, Congressman. My question is this, if, if I be allowed to uh, restate, why is there a need to uh, expand uh, the foundation days when, it is, when the LGUs contained in a province are deemed uh, part of the celebrations, uh, Congressman? We, 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 we were, we were uh, confused here because... Uh, your honor is uh, not around, uh, Congressman Del Mario. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, uh, very quick uh, reply to that, because I'm. I, it's almost my turn to see. Uh, I'm referring to the province foundation day, July 1. But the foundation days of the different municipalities are on different dates. The foundation day of the city is on June 19. The foundation day of the barangays are also on different dates. So it doesn't mean that when it is the foundation day, and the, my bill is not referring for a public holiday in the uh, lower LGUs, na kasabay naman ng foundation day ng Davao Oriental. No? So, this, uh, this covers different dates, Mr. Chairman. Uh, barangays, municipalities, city, and the province. Different dates. So in all those dates, pagka foundation days and fish days nila, there will be a, uh, as my bill says, a public holiday, which is an amendment only of an existing law passed in 1997. Uh, Nagano then covered then ang um, foundation days and feast days of the baranga of the province and the municipalities. At that time, kasi Mr. Chairman, wala pang city. No 1997, wala pang city. Nagka city 2007 lang. 
So, under the old law, yeah. the city is not covered. And even the barangays, now that the existing, are not covered also under the old law. So, That's it, Mr. Chairman. Just one question from the chair. Uh, is there a need for a repealing clause here? Because we will be amending or re repealing uh, existing laws that uh, pronounce the foundation days of several LGUs. To, to make it uh, clearer, uh, Your Honor, is there a need for a repealing law? Because we will be all modifying laws here because we will be modifying existing laws because different LGUs are... Uh, are having different uh, dates for uh, celebrations, uh, uh, Your Honor? Yes, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I don't believe there is a need to repeal no, any of the existing laws uh, creating LGUs because this all, my, bill, my bill covers only the observance of such foundation days of existing LGUs as uh, uh, public holidays, Mr. Chairman. So even as the existing law, Republic Act uh, 8256 was worded. Wala namang sinabi doon na repeal or amend existing laws creating uh, the LGUs. Talagang pinasok lang ang foundation days and these days. So, is it possible, Congressman, that a certain LGU or a municipality will have a municipal municipality foundation day as well as uh, celebrate a provincial foundation day? Will that be the implication? Pwede, kung, pwede Mr. Chairman, but uh, as of now, hindi siya nagkakasabay yung provincial and municipality. Iba ang dates. So like the province of Davao Oriental celebrates on July 1, wala namang municipio which celebrates their uh, founding day on July 1 also. Your aim is to synchronize all of this uh, eventually, uh, no, no, no. Your Honor. No, 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 Mr. Chairman. Uh, not to synchronize all foundation days and feast days. The existing foundation days and feast days of all the LGUs in Davao Oriental will remain the same. My aim is, while but the province... The... But, but with this, uh, Congressman, there will be one Provincial Foundation Day. Am I correct? As, yes, as there is already. And that is on July 1. And that July 1, the Provincial Foundation Day, is a holiday covered by Republic Act 8256. I get and, it, now, and, Mr. Congressman, Your Honor. But we, may, we, may we, with your indulgence, may we get the reaction of the opposition? There is a opposition here uh, coming from uh, the Dole. Uh, Director, uh, uh, would you restate that or uh, would you withdraw your opposition? Director Dole. Thank you for. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, ma'am. About the competing. Hello, uh, same position pa rin, Mr. Chair. Uh, yung pong uh, declaration nila, parang mas marami ah. <laughs> may provincial and then may city. Ganun po ba? So, ibig sabihin po ba yung provincial, kung nagkaroon po sila ng special public holiday, non-working, magkikijoin din sila sa city? Ganun po ba? No, 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 no. Again, commemorating our independence. Mr. Chairman, Yes, go ahead, Congressman. Go ahead, Congressman Almario. Uh, uh, very, very quick. Hindi, iba ang, iba ang foundation day ng provincial. So, that is nga on July 1. So, holiday sa provincia. But on the foundation day of the city of Mati, June 19, holiday within the city of Mati lang. And so with the other municipalities. Only in the AORs. Kung foundation day nila, doon lang din ang holiday. That's the, that's the intent of the bill, Mr. Chairman. Director, uh, are you satisfied, Dole? Uh, are you satisfied with the answer? Natatawa ka. Oh. So, if you're uh, uncomfortable, sabihin mo lang kaya na ano, ano yung... Uh... Uh, Mr. Chair, oh, oh. I'm representing Dole lang po kung ano po yung aming position. Sabi ko na po yun. So, if yun kanina nga ang sinabi ko na kung marami po ang mabibenefit dito sa holidays na to, we interpose no objection. We 
please support the bill. Salamat po. <laughs> Congressman, uh, the, the implication is that you have to answer that. Mas marami ho magbe-benefit dito. Uh, yeah, yeah. When we... Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Chairman. In fact, uh, kahit wala yung bill na to, talagang nag na. <laughs> wala, wala lang legal cover. Kaya I'm filing this bill para magkaroon ng legality yung pag nila ng holiday. And, 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 and uh, the economy also is experiencing a boom because of this holiday. Tourism area kami, Mr. Chairman. Eh. Uh, yun lang, Mr. Chair. So in effect, we're just formalizing what is uh, traditionally being practiced by the LGUs uh, comprising Davao Oriental. Am I correct, Congressman? So, yes, legality ngayon. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. That's it. So I see no, I see no other uh, uh, reason to to object to this. Uh, it 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 complies with the requirements, uh, and without objections on the part of a uh, DepEd is here. Wala, wala pa rin, oh, DIRG. Wala pa rin? Deped, uh, ah, Deped, Deped. Uh, one last point, uh, Congressman, uh, with your permission, si Deped nandito. How, how will it affect classes? Uh, with this? Uh, your Honor, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Uh, although... Oh, Deped, Region 11? Region 11. Region 11? Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, although, as, as pointed out by the good Congressman Norval Mayo Almario earlier, there's been a... a a celebration has been going on in the localities of the Oriental and all other provinces. Uh, the Department of Education, uh, regional office, and that of the Division uh, of the Oriental, of course, expresses its support and then poses no objection to the proposed bill. For after all, the Department of Education supports social and cultural uh, affairs, uh, of course, in promoting local rejoicing and celebrations among students who are our future leaders. So that is why, Your Honor, the, the DepEd, uh, while the classes may be, may be on hold during those times, but uh, the Department of Education has its way of uh, hoping up with uh, uh, Miss Days, Your Honor. DepEd interposes no objections. And on the part of my colleagues here, I, I think uh, there is a a good concurrence to proceed with the approval of this bill and uh, present this to the plenary. So, any, anything more to add, uh, Congressman Almario? Uh, Mr. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, without objections, on the part of my colleagues, uh, House Bill 8380 is approved and is referred to the plenary. Uh, there, there being no other matters to tackle, the committee is now adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Resource persons, thank you.